first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so friends in this video we will be solving the question that is based on the topic called alpha numerical series so this topic alpha numerical series comes under the reasoning ability session so similar to element series not completely same element series and alpha numerical series are little bit common for example only 5 percentage will be common so remaining 95 percentage will be a completely different so because in the element series they usually give you one single series based on the series we have to solve the question but here in this alpha numerical series that it can be a numbers or three digit number two digit number or a four digit number so each will be placed in a different different set for example this will be one set this will be another set 581 will be third set but in element series there was no different different set it was completely a single series right so that's the major difference between element series and alpha numerical series so in the alpha numerical series mostly you can able to see the question will be based only on the numbers right so uh, you know what is the first digit so if, if it is a three digit number so this will be the first digit second digit third digit and you should know how to arrange these numbers in an ascending order and a descending order right so these things are most important in the alpha numerical series right so it is very easy topic like what we learned in element series so element series i have taught you the 10 types how to solve the questions that is based on element series as well as i have given you a practice question 30 question for practice so similarly here after teaching the alpha numerical series i think i will be solving two or three sets based upon this model so after solving all the alpha numerical series do not forget to write the practice test right so practice you can able to see six tests i have given for practice which is 30 question so go to my mobile application feel free to learn there in the reasoning ability session now you can able to see a new topic called alpha numerical series so inside that i have given 30 question for practice so do one thing watch the complete video and then start the practice so here is the first question on the first set so if two is added to the first digit of each number then all the digits are arranged in the descending order within the numbers which would be the smallest number in the given set after the above arrangements right so just see here easy question every question in the alpha numerical series will be very simple and easy but you have to be little bit careful while changing the numbers into writing the format into ascending order descending order adding the numbers so those things are most important right so just see here is two is added to the first of the each number so here 527 this will be the first digit so in the first digit if 2 is added to the first digit so when you add 2 with 5 right the resultant will be 727 so the first digit will be 727 so similarly 647 so add 2 to the first number 6 plus 2 will be 8 so 847 add to 781 then add to 695 so 451 and when 584 so finally we have added 2 to the first digit of the each set so what will be the next step so if 2 is added to the first digit of each number then all the digits are arranged in descending order right so we have to arrange each set in the descending order so descending order will be largest smallest to the largest will be ascending order largest to the smallest will be descending order so now we need to arrange all the numbers in the descending order right okay so descending order okay so this will be 772 descending order and uh, this will be 874 871 9 65 so 541 so 854 so finally we have arranged all the numbers in the descending order largest to the smallest so now what is our target which would be the smallest number so you can see 700 800 800 900 500 so this will be the smallest number so where this number comes from will be from 251 so after adding and after changing into a descending order we got the number 541 but what is our target within the numbers which would be the smallest number in the given set so in the given set which will be the smallest number 251 because we got 541 only after conversion of 251 so answer will be 251 easy or not it very easy and very simple to solve so don't worry about this topic so practice is more needed to solve uh, questions faster you have to practice more that's it other than that the simple this topic will be very simple and easy question number two 
So if 2 is subtracted from the second digit of each number and 1 is added to the last digit of each number, then what should be the highest number in the given set if the digits of all the numbers are arranged in the ascending order within the numbers? So similar to the previous question, see so in the previous question only one operation that we done, we just added 2 to the first digit of each number. But here we have to subtract 2 from each of the second digit and then you have to add 1 to the last digit of the each number. So very simple, there is no change in the first number, right? We have to do the operation only for the second and the third. So first digit write as it is so that we won't make any mistake. So 5, 4, 2 and 3. Got it. So now second digit we have to subtract 2. So when you subtract 2 here this becomes 0. So subtract 2. So this will be 2. So 6 subtract 2 7. So 3 subtract 2 6. So now for the last digit we have to add 1. So this will be 8. This will be 8. So 2 6. So 2 and 5. So finally we have done the operation for the second digit and the third digit so now we need to convert all the numbers into an ascending order right so ascending order will be smallest to the largest so smallest to the largest zero will be the smallest number 58 so 268 so 256 so this will be 764 so 223 and this will be 356 right so finally, we have arranged all the numbers, right? All the numbers in the ascending order. So our target is to find which of these number will be the highest number. So highest number we can see 764 is the highest. So we get 764 after converting which number here? 495. So we can say that answer for this question will be 495. Because after doing an operation of this number set 495, we got a number 764. So our target is to find which is the highest number. So highest number is 764. So which comes from 495 from the given set. So we can say that answer for this question is 495. Third question. So which of the following is the second digit of the second lowest number? if all the digit of all the numbers are arranged in the ascending order within the numbers. So first let me understand the question properly what they are saying. Which of the following is the second digit of the second lowest number? So first we have to find which number is the second lowest. For the second lowest our target is to find for that second lowest which number is the second digit. And in order to find that second lowest number, we have to arrange the given set in the ascending order. right? So first let me arrange all the given set into an ascending order. So ascending order will be smallest to the largest. So 527, so this can be written as 257, ascending order. So next will be 467 and 158, so 459, so 125. And this will be 348. So finally, we have arranged all the given set into an ascending order. So now we have to find which of the set is the second lowest. So first lowest is what? 125 seems to be the first lowest. Second lowest will be 158. So 158 will be the second lowest. So our target is to find which of the following is the second digit of the second lowest. So second lowest number for this number, the second digit will be 5. So answer for this question will be 5. So second lowest number, second digit. So second lowest number will be 158. For that 158, the second digit will be 5. So once understood or not, right? So this will be the answer for question number 3. So after practicing more number of questions, for example, after practicing like 50 or 60 questions, do not write all the number like this, right? Directly by seeing the set itself, try to think. And without using pen and paper, just think of which number goes here, which number goes there and which will be the lowest. So if you can try like that, because in the exams you can manage the time, instead of solving a question for one minute, you can able to solve within 30, 30 seconds or 50 seconds, 15 seconds is possible. So it comes only in practice. In case if you can't able to do that, you will, if you think that you will make a mistake, no worries, you can write like this and solve the question, right? So answer for this question number 3 will be 5. Question number 4. If 3 is subtracted from every number, then which number is exactly divisible by 7? So we have to first subtract 3 from every digit, that is every number. And then we have to see which number is divisible by 7. So for some students who know the divisibility rule, 
so while teaching number system second lesson i think so i have taught you the divisibility rule starting from 2 to 20 so how to use the divisible not 20 i think till 19 i think so i have taught you the divisibility rule so how to find which number is divisible by which number in case if you know the logic these questions will be very simple if you don't know the divisibility rule no issues you can after converting the numbers you can just divide each number and see what all the numbers are divisible by 7 right if you learn the divisibility rule apply here if you didn't learn the divisibility rule you get confused on all those things uh, no no worries about it just after writing the number divide and see right so first we have to subtract 3 from every number so when you subtract 3 here so this will be 524 so subtract 3 so 644 so when you subtract 3 here so 5 78 so this will be 492 right so this will be 248 and 381 so finally we have subtracted 3 from each of these numbers right so now we have to check what all the numbers are divisible by 7 so divisible by 7 i know the divisibility rule right what is the divisibility rule of 7 is so first you have to multiply the last number by 2 so each of the last number by 2 so 2 2 only the last number right so this will be 2 here 8 2s are 16 2 2s are 4 8 2s are 16 4 into 2 will be 8 4 into 2 will be 8 so now what we need to do is the remaining number we have to subtract with 8 this will be 64 so 57 49 24 38 got it so we have to subtract and see so when you subtract it so 52 minus 8 so this will be 40 no this is not divisible 64 minus 8 so 64 minus 8 will be 56 right so check whether this number 56 is divisible by 7 yes it is divisible so we can say that 644 will be divisible by 7 this is the divisibility rule of 7 right so the last number we have to multiply by 2 and the remaining two numbers we have to subtract with that number so the resultant number should be divisible by 7 if it gets divisible then the complete 492 will be divisible by 7 if it is not divisible then it is not divisible by the complete number is not divisible by 7 so here 60, 644 so last number multiplied by 2 4 into 2 will be 8 so the remaining two number will be 64 so 64 minus 8 will be 56 so we have to check whether the number 56 is divisible by 7 yes it is divisible so we can say that this 64 number is 644 is completely divisible by 7 so similarly uh, 494 this will be 45 not divisible right or 45 49 minus 4 so for 248 26 this is also not divisible so 36 is not divisible right so this is also so all these numbers are not divisible by 7 so only one number this is 644 so which comes from 647 so 647 is the only number which is divisible by 7 so this is the way you have to find the answer for these kinds of question some question you can able to see what all the numbers are divisible by 11 so we have learned the divisibility rule for 11 right so or else i can give you the link here so where is the divisibility rule of in number system i think so it's a second lesson so first lesson basics of numbers i have taught you and the second lesson i have taught you the divisibility rule so do not forget to learn the divisibility rule because that will be easy for these kinds of questions in your exams so here is the last question of this alphanumerical series so if the third digit of the second highest number is divided by the first digit of the lowest number then what will be the final answer just see here just we have to divide the two numbers so here the third digit of the second highest number so what is the first highest number here 927 is the first highest second highest will be 714 so out of the 714 the last digit will be 4 so the third digit of second highest number is 4 is divided by the first digit of the lowest number so lowest number is 175 so out of 175 the first digit will be 1 so 4 divided by 1 will be 4 so answer will be 4 so once that's it right so i think we don't want to solve more number of questions you can directly go and practice because practice is always needed so just after, i hope you understood what is called as alpha numerical series and uh, still there are lot more questions 
and lot more uh, difficult easy level questions can be asked from the topic alphanumerical series so here we have solved three digit numbers in some of the exams you can able to see four digit numbers will also be asked so you should practice more do not forget to practice the alphanumerical series what we have given here 30 questions you can able to see it so that's it friends thank you so much for watching this video and uh, if you really like it share this video to your friends those who are preparing for the competitive exams so thank you so much bye